Hello friends, I am Dr. Rashi Singh and today we are here to learn about the teaching and learning materials. First of all, it is very important to know what are the teaching learning materials. It is the spectrum of educational materials that are used by a teacher in the classroom to achieve certain objectives that are set out by him or her during the lesson planning stage. So, the teaching materials are the aids that are used by the facilitator to help him or her in facilitating the lesson effectively. And when we say the lesson effectively, we mean that the purpose of the teaching learning process is achieved. Learning materials are the aids that are used by the learner to help him or her learn effectively, to understand the concept better so that the learning is for a long time. Both the teaching and the learning materials can be big or small. The size doesn't matter, but they should be effective. The teaching and learning materials can be bought or they can be made easily by both the facilitator or the learner. Now, what is the purpose of using these teaching learning materials? One, they make the lessons interesting because we say that it is very important that the communication is good then the lesson should be according to the interest of the learner it should be something that stimulates the mind of the learner then it should make the learning easy the sometimes we can teach very difficult concepts very easily with the help of these learning materials then they help learning that what has been learned to remain in the minds of the learners for a long time. Because we say that when we see something, the impression stays with us for a long time. So, these help us. Then, we say that it helps the facilitator to deliver the lesson successfully and easily. It is both ways. It is for the teacher also and it is for the learner also. It enables the facilitator to express the intended concepts of the learning effectively. What you have thought, what important points you've thought that you should explain during the class, if they are delivered very nicely, then half the work is done. These are the things and ideas which are usually familiar to the learners because we proceed in a lesson from the known to the unknown, from the previous knowledge to the unknown. There are some points that are very important while we use these DLMs. They can be found locally and are therefore cheap. We need not buy very expensive stuff to make the teaching learning materials. We can use the local resources also to make them. And they are usually easy, they are portable, they can be carried from one place to another. They should be simple and adaptable to the local situations or conditions because each class is different, each school is different, each learner is different. So the purpose should be solved, that is to make the learners understand what the concept is. TLMs enable everyone in a classroom to participate actively. Because now we say that the classrooms are not teacher-centered, they are child-centered. And for a classroom to be child-centered, the child has to be in the active mode not just the teacher and when the student is participating in the activities or he or she has the freedom to participate in the activities the learning is for a long time TLMs help learners to relate what is being taught to real life situations because sometimes when we teach a concept and it is an abstract notion the child is not able to understand he is or she is not able to relate what is being taught or what the message is. So, these facilitate us to understand the concepts. And now, what are the types of teaching learning materials? There are n number of things that we can use in the classroom as these educational materials. They can be maps, charts, diagrams, books, overhead projectors, transparencies, TV and videos can be shown. We have the slide projectors which we can take our help. Then blackboards, chalkboards or whiteboards or flipboards. Then we can use the chalk, the felt pens, the markers. These all 
can be put in the category of teaching learning materials. Here we can see some of the teaching learning materials that we can use in our classroom for the primary classes. Here in this picture we see that the students are participating actively during the session and they are able to use those TLMs. Another example of TLM to be used in the class. Now, what are the strategies of using the TLMs in the classroom? We say that teaching becomes interesting when the learner is using reasonably sized teaching aids and these can be seen easily by the trainees. That means the size of the learning material or the teaching aid or the educational material, it should be big enough so that the child can read what is written on the material and he or she can see what all is being shown in that educational material. Nobody in the learning group should strain their eyes to see what has been written on the board or the flip charts because if you are not able to see then the understanding would not be there and the whole purpose of the teaching learning process goes away. So it is very important that the learner or the student are able to see it properly. Then very important aspect of using TLMs. The learners must be able to handle the TLMs themselves because when we see things, when we are able to touch things, when we are able to experiment with the things, we are able to explore them, then we learn a lot and that learning stays with us for a long, long time. We use these teaching learning activities that lead to the achievement of the lesson objectives because when we start with any lesson, we have certain objectives to be achieved at the end of that lesson plan. So they help us in achieving those objectives. We should try to make full use of these teaching learning materials in the class. We should adapt the TLMs to suit the learner's ability what background they are coming from and what teaching learning process they are used to. Because if I am to teach a concept that is very complex or difficult or is not according to the learner's level, then the TLM may not work. So it is very important to know the learner's abilities. The learners should be able to decide which TLMs to use for which learning strand. Because when we give them the freedom to use them, they get to know how and when or where we can use those TLMs. Every learning strand should have relevant TLMs because it is very important that the teaching learning material that is being used in the classroom should be relevant to the topic or the subject that is being taught. Now how to identify various types of teaching learning materials? Firstly, it is very important that we decide and choose what topic is being taught. Then we have to make a plan for it. And then for preparing the educational materials, we should identify the resources available. For example, the following TLMs in numeracy and communication skills can be made locally. For numeracy, we can use abacus, chart number stories. For communication skills, Language charts can be shown, some activity sets can be used during the class. These are some of the educational materials that can be used for primary classes. Here, a wallet is being used to teach the concept of opposites in English. Then there are certain points that we should keep in mind always. The locally made TLMs can easily substitute the expensive ones which are not readily available. Because to buy something that is expensive, to maintain that, it becomes a difficult task for the teacher. So we try to use the locally made TLMs for the classroom. Then it is very important to develop the skills in making various types of TLMs. And that reduces the dependence on other people's skill. Because if we are able to do a certain task by ourselves, then we are not dependent on anybody. And we can carry that task very nicely, very easily. It is very important to have the ability to identify various types of TLMs that makes the facilitators and the learners adapt to any classroom situations. The TLMs are used 
for the learners though they are used by the facilitators and learners both but what is important is identifying the relevant target groups for whom the teaching learning material is being used when we are able to identify the right users it will help you to design the tlms that can make the learning process easier and appropriate both for the learners and the facilitators it is always important for the facilitators to have in mind a specific target group who would be using those tlms then it is again very important to involve the identified target groups in planning and developing the tlms because here we are saying the child should be in the active mode he should be participating so it is very good if we can involve the child or the student in the class to plan and develop those tlms how we can plan and develop the teaching learning materials it is very important to know the type of teaching learning materials the user it may be the facilitator it may be the learner the length of the lesson the topic that is to be taught and the method to be used which would be used to deliver the lesson effectively it will make it easy for you to decide the type and size of the teaching learning materials you need to design these are some of the teaching learning materials very local resources that can be used in the classroom for teaching the concepts here we can see certain materials to teach hindi to teach maths to teach time there are certain precautions we should take care of while using these teaching learning materials it is very important that teaching learning materials are not a complete method of teaching but it should be kept in mind by the teacher that it is an aid to learning it is not everything that a teacher should depend on and if there are too many aids in one lesson it may distract the attention from the main subject of the lesson and it may take much of the learners time because already we are hard pressed with completion of the syllabus and if we are introducing one two or maybe more teaching aids in one class to teach one subject or one topic then it might take away much precious time so that should be taken care of tlms should be adapted to the understanding level of the class because it is very important for a teacher to understand what class is he teaching what is the age group what is the ability learning ability of the students so these tlms should be made according to those specifications another very important thing that we should not leave the teaching learning materials on display for too long because if it is present in the class for display for a long time then the class may lose interest in them and they may no longer serve their purpose one thing more that is very important that we should try to make new teaching learning materials every year for every class if we keep on using the same material then it becomes boring for the students because the students these days they are very smart they need to have new stimulants every year so it is very important so today we've learned that the, how the teaching learning materials are important what they are what purpose they serve what should be the target groups when we are planning or designing those tlms and how we should use them what precautions should be taken while using these tlms thank you